Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this module, what we're going to focus is on the expansion modules that we have for the Modicon M241, M251, and the M262. But some of them can also be used for the M221. So, let's go to the presentation. This is just an explanation of the offer that we have, okay? For different ideas and the expansion, the special models that we have. So, if we continue with the presentation, this is the overview that you can see over here. Okay, let me just hide myself just a little bit. Oop, there we go. So, let's start by the basic. Do we have the M241 and the M262 that have some embedded ideas? The M251 doesn't have any, so we need to add some expansion modules. The expansion modules that we have for this range of PLCs is the TM3. So it should be the Modicon TM3 offer that we're going to see today. So we have, as you can see over here, let me just put the pen. We have for Boolean variables, okay, for digital information, true or false, one zero. We have the digital IO modules. Then if we want to read temperature or voltage current for an sensor, we just have the analog IOS. And then recently we have these expert counting modules. Okay, but this one is only is not for the M221. Okay, it's only for the M241, M251, or the M262. Okay, and there is a slightly difference between the one of these models. Okay, that is only for the M262 that is related to the events. Then we have this expert control model that allows us to control the thesis one of the tests that we have in the offer to control that in the motor okay and then if we need more ios okay because we have a limitation on the bus or the models that we have in the bus then we can use this as expansion models then we have the, pos the possibility to add safety models that allow us to read information from the field okay so um there is different kind of safety functionalities uh, for those, we have different models that I'm going to show you. And then the latest one is this one, okay, which is the bus coupler. So instead of using this bus expansion as a remote IO, we can use this bus coupler to have distributed IO. Okay, so if we continue with this. Let me just move myself. As I already mentioned before, we only have uh, these ones, okay for the offer that we are calling the Ecostructure Machine Expert. This one is not for the M221. So now you can ask me, okay, what happened with the previous offer? Let me show us by myself. What happened with the TM2 range? Okay, so the TM2 range is discontinued and most of the um, TM2 uh, reference can be migrated to the TM3, but Okay, remember that the TN3 is only compatible with the T with the Modicon M221, M241, M251, and the M262. Okay, so if you're using this TM2, okay, you were probably using the M238, the Tweedo, or OTB. So you will need to migrate all these to a newer generation. Okay. So basically it's that. So TM2 migrated to TM3. Okay, TM3. Oop, this is a three. Okay. But if you're using this, then the TM3 offer is not allowed. Okay. So let's start with the digital IO models. Okay. So all the references start with the TM3. Okay. Then it follows by the D by digital. And then depend on the characteristics of the digital model, we have I for input, Q for output, and M for mix. So we have the possibility to have a digital um, model that has the mix between inputs and outputs. Okay, that's the functionality. Then, as you can see here, the yellow color is the amount of IOs that you have. And you can see over here that we have from 8, 16, and 32, okay, but the mix you have for 8 and 24, but again, 
it's complicated to remember all this part so take a look on the catalog to check the right reference but there is something important that we need to know for example if we have the digital module for outputs we have the possibility to define if we were transistor or relays output and in order to figure out which one it is you have r for relay okay and t for transistor output okay and the t is for transistor source and if you have the u is for transistor sync output okay then the letter g is for the exprint terminal okay if it doesn't have that it's going to be with the screw and then you have the k that is the he10 connector okay so more information about this part i strongly recommend you to go to digicat.sc.com and then here you can find the plc pack and other controllers you have all the family range here that we are covering then, for example, if you enter into the M251, you have the TN3. It will open the catalog for the TN3. Okay, and here you can find the complete uh, explanation. Okay, here you can find all the different IOs that we have. The definition for local, remote, and distributed. And you can see over here that the IOs in the same bus of the controller are the local IO. And then if you have the expansion bus it will become a remote IO and then if you're using the TM3 bus coupler you have distributed IO okay so that's the main idea so in this part you can see the complete range of digital inputs and outputs that we have okay and some of the characteristics so you pay attention the amount of inputs the amount of outputs that you have here outputs and then the characteristic for the voltage okay and the reference below okay so it's very straightforward so if we continue with the presentation now this is the overview for the uh, catalog it's the same just copy pasted it and then we start with the analogs model so the same as before this is the tn3 offer so everything will start with the tn3 then we have the letter a for analog IOs, okay? And if we have the letter T, it means it's gonna be for temperature, okay? Then we need to define if it's gonna be input and output or a mix, the same as we have before, okay? This, and then the yellow one, okay, over here is the about the amount of IOs. And here you can find a list of the amount of the IOs that we have compared with the model. You have two, four, eight, output to four and then you have a weird mix over there okay for two inputs one output or four inputs two outputs okay so just to have the idea the same the same as before if you have the letter g and the end okay it means that it's going to be a spring terminal okay if not it's going to be the screw terminal okay something important i didn't mention is that you need to just uh, full screen as I said before, okay, an external power supply, you need to provide this to the model. Otherwise, it's not enough with the internal bus of the PLC. You will need to provide the 24 volt DC, but we're going to cover that also later, but you need to bear this in mind. So you can use another power supply for this, okay? And if you take a look over here, okay, you have to do, 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 just double check here. You have the power supply transformer. You have the modicon power supply. And the modicon power supply, you have different power supply for 24 volts DC. Okay. Depend on the input that you have and you provide the 24 volt DC. So this is everything on the digicat at c.com. So if we continue with the presentation now, okay. We also have different uh, model depend on the characteristics that we have okay you can see here the complete list of the variables depend on the number of inputs and outputs uh, inputs and outputs the type okay and then the range okay there's something just for you to check then what we can do now is to talk about the expert okay 
to remember that this one is not for the M221. This one is only for the Machine Expert uh, controllers M241, M251, and the M262, as you can see over here. So TN3, everything starts with TN3, X, I believe, for Expert. And then we have the HSC because this one is a high speed counter module. Okay. And then you will need to remember this. I don't remember right now what it's done for, but you have it this. And then the letter G at the end is means that you are going to use. Uh, in the software for you, it's the same. You're going to have the same. It doesn't matter the terminal that you're going to use. And then if we have this F over here, okay, it means that it's going to be only available for the M2. 62 because it has the possibility to use um events okay as a it's over here okay the show events okay and uh, it must be located in the first dual slot on the controller okay and you have more characteristics about the high speed counter model it's not enough is everything on the catalog okay but allow you to use high speed counter, for example, uh, if you're using the M241 and you want to read modern coders, you can add this one. The same for the M260. Uh, just hide myself just to show you this. Okay, I already mentioned this. Okay, and I already mentioned this that the, you can use the one that doesn't have the letter F over there. Okay, so. There is another expert module, okay, which is for thesis, okay, and allows you to control four motors, okay. You can have this this description and some of the connectors in order to control the motors that you have. And this model is for thesis motor interface. So this is this is good because you can connect um, instead of wiring everything to control the contactor or receive the signal you have everything in here okay so you just use one cable one model and two four cables in order to control different motors which is good now i already mentioned that you have the local io and then you have the remote io so in order to have those remote ios or extend the the modules for seven to more okay you have this transmitter and receiver okay this is the transmitter and this one is the receiver you can use a ethernet cable okay to communicate from here to here okay and it can be up to five meters okay here you can find some references okay depend on the market that where you are okay these are the reference for two up to four to five and dot five to five meters okay these are the reference and remember this is important you will need a external power supply as i mentioned before we have also that in our catalog okay for modicum power supply we have some of these materials over here so now let's continue with this with the safety models we're going to cover that later how we can integrate these safety models okay but just to give an idea the different application that you have over here and different references references that we have so you can see here we have up to eight different references okay uh, da -da -da. here okay the letter r, r is for relay the g is for the sprint terminal okay and here this c f and k are based on the functionalities that we have okay you can see over here these two the letter c has this ones the f have this these um applications that you can use and it also change how you can reset the relay and everything but we're going to cover that in a specific model have this one and also this one the more complete one okay but this is just to have an idea that you can have a safety model so you can read information from the field without having different elements and then read and then have additional wiring to connect and read information from the field 
okay the other thing that we have here this is from the um from the catalog okay are the different um standards that are available for each of these models okay you can see okay we have these functionalities okay control emergency and switches here it would add the to do the safety light okay and then here the pressure sensor with different inputs and outputs okay so this is just to have an idea what we are after and then finally we have for distributed io we have the bus coupler as you can see over here we just start with tm3 bc for bus coupler then from the protocol that we're going to use Molva serial can open Ethernet IP or Molva TCP. Okay, we have a different training for this part. Okay, but we cover that in details later. The last thing that I want to show you is this the Modicon PLC configurator. Okay, which is actually a nice tool that we have. So if we go to Google or whatever browser you have, uh, Chrome or other browser type modicon plc configurator and you can access to this view in order to select your controller okay start now you can define for based on the application that you have or just select the controller that you want so for example m262 you have all the different references so i'm going to use this one select it continue here you can see the view of the controller okay if you go over here you have the possibility to select the software and you have digital and printed at the moment if i'm not wrong we have only printed available here in uk so select and you can see here in the bill of material all the reference that you need then here you have the possibility to add the ios that you want okay add io discrete io okay and you can see over here the list and here you have the communications okay add and if you want an island you can create an island over here depending if you're using circles you can use the pi or tn3 okay shoot this model okay and then you just add another ios over here okay so this is how you can oops just wait a minute there we go so this is just to have an idea of the offer of the Modicon TN3 that we have for the M241, M251, M262, and also the M221. So this is it. Take a look on the digital catalog and also on this Modicon PLC configurator for further information. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.